Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for the Scrap Room, and I am sharing with you this layout that I created using the One Canoe Two Willow Collection in the November Flavor of the Month kit. In addition, I have the pattern paper add-on as well as the embellishment add-on. So I have ahead of time fussy cut um, some flowers out of the floral pattern paper, and I have also from the maroon pattern paper um, cut out some leaves, and uh, I've done the same thing from the white cardstock. So using the white cardstock that comes as the cardstock with the kit, I have cut out this digital cut file from Paige Evans. The problem is, is that I started it and then I shut down my uh, laptop and I did not back it. So while I would normally cut the background piece or the backings to the cut file with my silhouette, um, I was not able to do that because I didn't know the size that I had shrunk this file down to. So I'm going to manually have to do that. I am uh, tracing the outside of each of the smaller banners of the giant banner. And um, I'm then going to fussy cut with my hands <laughs> each one of those and then use some liquid adhesive from ThermoWeb to uh, use to adhere that to the inside. I will show you how I do one um, and then I will skip ahead on the rest because it's literally the same process. Apply adhesive and stick it down. I do happen to have these awesome little nozzles that you can put directly onto the liquid adhesive and that um, does give a much finer line for small detail work such as backing digital files like this. So there is the completed file. My original plan had actually been to put it on white cardstock, but I didn't like, it didn't show up as well as I had wanted it to. So I do decide to put the digital cut file onto this piece of um, mint green we'll call it, um, and that will be the background for the layout. Uh, because I did do the backing of the file manually, there are a couple of places that I'm gonna need to clean up uh, where I didn't draw a pencil line, um, and that's what I'm doing here, is just kind of cleaning out that file, as well as the pieces that jutted out from that digital cut file. And then it's time to set to work and construct the rest of the layout. So I have this photo of my daughter. Uh, she is doing cotillion uh, for the third year. And uh, we, for some reason, we didn't go with the usual girls that she went normally goes with. Uh, we were started as four and we are down to a party of three. And the other two girls, I think they had a swim meet. I can't remember what it was. So for some reason, Mia and I uh, went alone. And so I was able to get some pictures of just her against the sunset, and um, that's what this photo is of. So we have the three fussy cut flowers, and now I'm going to uh, embellish these flowers with these digital cut files. Um, one is with pattern paper, one is just with extra white paper, and I actually end up leaving the white flowers, um, and they will go into my stash of... Um, cut files. I have a whole stash of files that I thought I was going to use and cut out for a purpose and then change my mind. Um, and, but they come in handy, these, especially florals like this, uh, for, for the same sort of purpose. Um, so I've stuck with the maroon colored ones and now I'm thinking I want to back the photo because it seems to meld into the sky in behind Mia is very much like the sky that I have backed the banner cut file with and so I want to put a little bit of something to pop the picture. It would be fine as it is but I really want that photo to stand out and by using that pattern paper that I have there um, it really does help that stand out. So I am going to commit to this and go ahead and um, adhere it. And you know when you're using liquid adhesive that you are fully committed. There is no pulling that up. Um, so we are good to go with that. And then I will back the photo. I really like the way that backing the photo with this darker um, pattern paper with a fine detail in it pops my daughter. You, it, it pops the sky in many ways, but the dark behind the photo provides some balance between the contrast of the darks and the lights in the photo. I have no purpose for this glassine bag, really. Um, usually I will use it to contain some 
journaling. Um, however, I have not journaled on this layout. I'm not sure what I'm going to, um, if I'm going to. I might actually put a tag in the glassine bag with the story. Um, there is a story behind why she ended up going to the dance alone that day, and I might tell that story, um, but really that's not what the photo is about. So I, I TBD is what is going to be the story behind the journaling on this particular one. But I did just really love this picture of her um, and this dress that she had chosen for Cotillion. So now that I have the prime trio of elements that are there, I am just going to embellish them a little bit further. So I have the embellishment add-on sticker sheet, and I, oh, I'm sorry, this is the, these, this half a sticker sheet are the embellishments that come with the kit. Uh, the titles or the foam words are the in the add-on and that's what I'll use for the title. So these are the embellishments and I'm just using um, a couple of the butterflies and the uh, florals to add some additional layers to these trio, this trio of embellishments, this tri trio of flowers here. You'll see that at one point, so that bird is not within the embellishment cluster, but he, she, it is close enough to that flower that it almost sort of becomes loosely attached to that trio. I like trios of embellishments because I find that it leads your eye around the page. Um, I like there to be at least one similar element, be it that you use um, the same flower, which is what I did. They're same but different. Um, or that you have a similar texture throughout. So you'll see that piece there, um, I stick it there, but it really kind of stands out like a sore thumb because it's not somehow incorporated into the embellishment cluster to the left. So it's just as well that the title fits perfectly there and it ruins where that heart and the word phrase is. So I will move that and actually it ends up being well incorporated in somewhere else. I had thought that my title would be Be Happy because happy by itself is so generic and I really try and avoid generic titles, um, but I do want to use the things that come in the kit and B didn't work very well, so we just are stuck with happy. Um, I am going to use this. I really like it. Uh, it's just a matter of finding where it fits in and you can see how it fits in perfectly into that cluster there, doesn't stand out by itself um, and works nicely. I am going to use a few of the hearts and build them in. I also want a little bit more sort of a droopy foliage in this top cluster here. And this foam piece serves a perfect purpose, serves perfectly that purpose. Now I want to add a little bit of uh, to the background. And so I am going to get some Heidi Swap Shine, uh, shake that up and just put a couple of drops of that and that will wrap up the layout. So enjoy the close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Take care.